Hi everyone, this is Mark Moikins from Big Mountain Studio, and this week's tip has to do with some code editor tips and tricks. And there's three of them that I'm going to discuss with you. And if you've watched my videos, you probably already know this first one, but if you're coming into this video for the first time, this is your first video to my channel, then these things might be able to help you out, and they might be new to you. So one of them is, if I'm in the code window and I want to find out more information about an object that Apple provides, you can hold down command and it makes objects into links that you can click on. And again, a lot of you already know this. You can come in here and you can just take a look and read this, the comments and learn more about an object. I read these comments a lot because sometimes they're easier to read and are more obvious and more helpful than the Apple documentation you find on the web. So that's one thing that you can do. Now notice I'm using two fingers to swipe back and forth to you know pages that I was just on and like this right here I'm using two fingers on my trackpad to to swipe back and forth to navigate. If you don't want to do that if you don't want to navigate and you want to keep this code window the way it is what you can do is you can hold down command hover over and double click and what that'll do is that'll just open up another window. Oh, let me resize this because I don't know if you can see it here. There you go. It opens up another code window. So after you're done reading it or finding information, you can just close it and you're back to where you started. Okay, so those are two tips right there. Getting more information and navigating to another object and opening it up in another window. Okay, the third tip I want to give you is how to drag and drop code. And for a long time, I didn't think this was possible because... I couldn't figure it out. You know, normally I would highlight code and then I'm and then I was thinking, you know, like other code editors, you could highlight it and then drag and drop it. And I'd try to do it and it would just change my selection. So I figured, oh, it's not possible. But I found out it is possible, but there's a little trick to it. What you want to do is you highlight your code and then when you click on it, you want to hold your button down for at least one second before you start dragging. Let me just uh, click down and then one second and then you can move it and notice my cursor changes too to an arrow so now I can drag this code you know maybe I want to move it down here like that and that is how you drag and drop you just have to hold your cursor down for like one second I believe so hold it down and then you can drag it like that alright guys three quick tips for this week go ahead and try them while you're coding this week it should help you out thanks for watching if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with any of your friends on social media. And then also consider subscribing because I come out with these tips every week. And also if you want to help out, you can translate the title and the description for this video in your native language. So that's another handy feature that YouTube allows you to do. There's three buttons down below next to like where you share the video, the, the share button. You just click on that video and then you can contribute to translations. All right, thanks guys.